Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I have a little request for you. Could you please raise your hands, those of you who have ever considered going on a diet? Well, anyone? Oh, yeah, that's a lot. Well, our research shows that it may be not as innocent than we initially think. But let's sugarcoat it a little bit and start with pretty things first. So, we see exceptionally beautiful women everywhere. In the TV screen, the red carpet, the streets of Cheltenham. Aren't that nice? Yes, but actually, we get pressurized to meet that perception of a perfect body. And seeing all that, this normally sized average girl thinks, mm, my waist is too full, oh, and my butt is fat. Oh my God, I'm ugly, I should get on a diet. And that's where the history of the bad idea begins. So what is the cost of a super slim me? Our research can answer you that that cost is substantially high. This starving teenage girl, or young woman for that matter, can not only spoil her own metabolism, but paradoxically have obese kids or even the grandchildren. Let me explain you how that can happen. So glamour journals present us with thousands of ways how to lose weight they all mostly encourage us to substantially reduce our menu. What happens here is that we tell our body to live in a famine environment. And its natural response to it is to get greedy, to slow down its activities and store fat, grasp every little thing from our diet that he actually can. Well, sadly, this continues even after we quit the diet. So that is why it's almost impossible to lose weight for a long term only by starvation. To make the matters worse, the saving fee that can also be inherited across generations. So we develop two main problems here. The first one, that this dieted mother that wanted to look great does not possess all the nutritional resources needed for the baby, so he might be born preterm or have small birth weight, which consequently leads to all those nasty chronic diseases we are suffering from worldwide. And secondly, the mother will also imprint the baby with this program to act in a cost-saving mode, which means eat more, store more and conserve energy rather than spend it. As a consequence of this nutritional greediness, the baby will have obesity, uh, high blood pressure, heart disease or diabetes while adult. To sum up, we have all become quite short-sighted. We get married for a year rather than a lifetime. We build buildings, houses for decades rather than centuries. Are we really going to trade in the health of our children for an extra small sized skirt? Thank you. Uh, thank you, Violetta. I'm one of those who never consider diet. Uh, do you have any advice <laughs> how to gain some weight for me? <laughs> well, uh, if you are naturally skinny, that's your win. So you just enjoy yourself for who you are and others will enjoy you too because you've been on Cosmo, so clearly you are something to be enjoyed. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Uh, uh, one additional question. Uh, this morning we had opportunity to hear uh, one nice talk about um, many, many different uh, things which are suggested to pregnant women. Should we do this or that, avoid this or that? So what, should, what will you be your piece of advice to a pregnant woman at the moment? What should they eat? I mean, how to behave? Well, the thing is that we have to find this golden mean between two extremes, between being too skinny and starting to gain too much weight. So we have to eat healthy, lead natural lifestyles, don't bother yourself with all those advices, just follow your heart, cook home and smile more and it will be all be just fine. <laughs> And is this topic close to your own area of research or study? Absolutely. This is the thesis, that my dissertation. So <laughs> that's really something that I do. We are pursuing animal research, and of course, we are comparing that to the human studies. Thank you.